Hey guys, it's Halloween Dan. Just doing another little video, this time on my third video about a spook of stories. Um, this one leads on from the last, um, but uh, we'll get into it in a minute. Before we get into it though, I would like to just sort of say, if you could please like this video and please subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated and I'd love you forever. Um, so if you could, that'd be great. So, my next story happened leading on from the last, which is still in my old workplace. So I'm still working for the same company, I work for them now. Um, and we're still in the old shop as it was then, the very old, dating back to the 1700s shop. And, but we were in the process of moving. We were moving from one place to the new place. And part of that process, very sad process, was dismantling the old shop taking everything out of the old shop that we had and moving it across the village to our new location. What that also meant was to sort of, we had to kind of check every little nook and cranny of the place that we hadn't left anything of any great value behind. So the attic was a place where we checked and we got everything out of and there was lots of little storage sheds all over the place that we checked and got everything out of. But one place we felt it necessary to check that we had never ever been down into, I certainly never had done, um, was the cellar, the basement. It was, it was a cellar, really. The cellar, I, the reason I'd never been down there was because it had been sealed probably about 50 years before that, maybe even longer. And when I say sealed, I mean like completely sealed. It had been bricked up on the outside. Um, it had been paved over. And the only access to it was through a small hatch, which was in part of the shop, through the floor. And that hadn't been sealed, but there was a stand over the top of it. Um, so there was actually no way to lift this hatch without dismantling this stand, um, which we never did. So it had been sealed off for a very long time. Um, but we felt that even though it had been sealed off, we felt like it we had to check it. It had to be checked just to put our minds at rest while the stands are all being dismantled anyway. Let's just check to make sure there's nothing of any great value down there just just to put our minds at, re at ease. So that's exactly what we did. My manager, we pulled the stand away, he lifted up the hatch and he headed down into the basement. The basement was just what it is. It was a creepy, dark, damp little hole in the ground. Um, as I described, completely sealed off from the outside world, completely dark. The only light was the light coming in through the hatch and our torch light. It was a horrible little grotty place. I wanted to go down there because I was interested in the history of the place. This place at one time had been part of the shop a long time ago. So I wanted to see it and it was, it was interesting for me. And so I get down there and we're having a little look around. There's nothing of any value. Um, but while we're down there, I start taking some pictures, snapping away on my camera phone. And I've got the flash on, so I'm so because it's so dark, you can't see anything. And after a while, we've taken a few pictures, we head back up out of the uh, cellar and there's nothing more to tell. There was no spooky event. We were all just sort of laughing and joking and isn't this amazing sort of a thing. And then I, we closed the cellar and that was it. And I then post the pictures I've taken onto Facebook, onto the, the, the shop's Facebook page. The first few posts back were things you'd expect. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, look at that. And, you know, just people showing their general interest for it. But the next lot of me messages to us were very different and unexpected. And the first one was something like, don't you see the ghost? I was like, what? And then there was another one like, I can see a face. I was like, where? What are they talking about? And so I start to analyze these pictures that I've put up on Facebook. And I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, I don't really know what they're talking about. And then all of a sudden I, I realized something. In one of the pictures, there is a kind of a glow. It's not very prominent it's like a reddish smudge sort of center i think it's in the like center right of the picture 
it's like a little smudge of, of red light, all, only just visible. And the weirdest part is that this smudge of light is emanating from literally the darkest corner of this picture. Everything else is pretty well lit and there's like a wall with a chimney breast that's got like white paint on it. But this corner that this little smudge of red light in is really dark. I'll put the picture on now so you can see and see if you can see this little smudge. But what was unusual about this little smudge of light was it, it kind of was in a place where it shouldn't exist. Because like I said, it was completely sealed this basement. There was no light sources. So why there'd be this little smudge of red light where it was, was kind of bemusing to me. But even more bizarre was when you kind of really looked at this smudge of light, there appears to be a face in the smudge of light. It's very, very faint. It's not, whoa, look at that, that's a face. And it, I suppose you could say that is that um, where, you, where people want to see faces in things sort of a thing because all you can see is like look, looks like two yellow glowing eyes in this smudge of light and possibly a bit of a mouth bit, bit of a nose but it's very faint it's almost a skeletal face is what you kind of see in this smudge of light but even if that's the case even if you're creating a face in this thing it, it, it's there. There isn't really, it, you, you can't manipulate it to overly. There is what looks to be like a face of some description in this smudge of light. And then people really sort of went to town, it's demonic, it's this, it's that and the other. And we were like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. It, it doesn't really make a lot of sense because there wasn't a light source down there. That looks illuminated. Um, and then there was... The fact, I thought maybe it was like a reflection, maybe there was something reflective down there, but there wasn't. It was just a dirty old basement filled with rubble and sealed off to the world. There was no light sources, there was no glass, there was no reflective materials down there. So what could be causing that sort of bizarre little glowing smudge or face or whatever you want to say it is, I have no idea. But that is the closest to a ghost picture I've ever come. I will put one other picture up about now. Um, this is a picture I took in the attic many years before this on a much older camera phone, um, which didn't even have a flash on it, my old camera phone. That's how old it was. Uh, well, how old it was when I took this picture. And in that picture, you can see there's a kind of a hazy over one of the doorways into the another part of the attic and for many years I thought that was paranormal I'm still not sure whether it is or it isn't I think it could be an optical illusion I think it could be a case of making a face where there isn't a face or perhaps it's something in the room that's making it look like a face perhaps but either way, it's an odd picture. It's very hazy. And it was in a succession of pictures that I took one after the other, one after the other. And it, it, it was the only one that looked this way. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know quite what that is in that picture. It's a bizarre picture, but I'm not sure it's paranormal. I'm, I'm not saying it is as such. It's just weird. But that one down in the cellar, the longer you look at that picture, <clears throat> the more that face stands out the more it becomes really the only thing you notice, to be honest with you. And I've shown it to lots of people. Some people are like, no, that's not paranormal in the slightest. I don't even know what you're talking about. And then other people are like, yeah, that's all I see. But then you also get some people who are like, yes, and I see a child stood by the fireplace. Oh, and I see an old man crouched down in the soil. And I'm, like, I'm not so sure about all of that. I'm just talking about this one specific thing that I do see. And my eyes are drawn to it every single time I look at this picture. And I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, anyway. The picture's there for you to see. You can look back at it again if you like. I'm not sure. It, but it's... Definitely the bizarrest picture I've ever taken. And again, it was taken in a series of pictures. It wasn't the only picture I took. I took lots of pictures. And this little weird smudgy glow is in none of the others. So, I don't know. You look at it however you want to look at it. But that's, that's my weird little picture. And that's my sort of ghost story, I suppose. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think of my ghost picture? I'd be interested to know. Anyway... 
Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for listening to me waffle on, as always. And I'll catch you at another time. Keep it spooky. Bye.